All right. Hey, everybody. What's up? It's Hutch here, and we're on Module 2, Lesson 5, all about interest, specifically simple interest. Uh, so just to understand, starting off, when we're talking about interest, uh, we're talking about this right here. It says if you borrow money okay, or deposit money into a bank and earn money, um, the principal, this is the OG, the original amount that we're talking about, okay? Uh, the interest is the amount paid or earned at the end, and it's the amount of money, okay? Uh, simple interest is calculated using specific periods of time. In uh, this case, it is always in years, okay? Uh, and so we use percents uh, to calculate interest, uh, we can earn interest by putting money in a bank, and because we have the money in the bank, they give us a percentage rate, okay? Um, or we might owe someone interest because uh, we are loaning or uh, borrowing money from them, and so we might have to pay interest over a long period of time. And so that's what we're talking about today. Uh, is all about simple interest. Now, simple interest has a specific formula, and it's I equals PRT, okay? And so let's talk about that a little bit. Um, the I is the money earned or money owed, okay? So that's interest earned or interest owed, okay? So that's something that you want to be aware of. Uh, so let's write that right here. So this is interest earned, or owed, okay? Um, so that's what that is, and that's always in money form, okay? Uh, the principal, that's your OG, which stands for original. Uh, your original amount of money is the principal, okay? And then R, um, I know that it says interest rate. Don't get that confused with interest. Uh, this is, think about it more as a percentage rate, Okay, um, so let's write there. That's a percentage rate, uh, but we don't do work with actual percentages. You know that we always change those into decimal form. And the last one is T, which is time, and you just have to remember that it's always going to be in years. So if they share something in months, uh, you need to convert it to years. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through uh, these examples together to really uh, create a good habit with all this. So you are going to have to remember I equals PRT, I equals PRT, I equals PRT. Um, so that's really important. And then we need to be able to label those things. So Magdalena put $580 into a savings account. That's the OG amount that she put in. Um, so remember that is our principal. Okay. Um, the account pays 2.5%. Okay, that's the percentage rate. Even though it says simple interest, don't get confused by that. If we see that percentage, we know that that's the percentage rate. Okay, so get in the habit of saying percentage rate, percentage rate. Okay, really, really important. Uh, and then it says if she neither adds or withdraws money, so they're basically just saying she's not changing the amount at any time, how much interest will she earn after two years? So this is our time, so our T. Okay, so obviously there's only three things of information. One of those things we don't know, and that was how much will she earn? And notice this is how much interest will she earn? Remember, earnings uh, is interest earned. So I'm going to put a question mark there. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up our I equals PRT, and you need to write it every time. So I equals, and it is a capital P a lowercase r, and a lowercase t, okay? Um, that capital P actually means principal, so it's important that you write it like that, okay? All right, and now we just fill in uh, or substitute the variables that we know, okay? So I don't know what i is, so we're going to leave that as is, and everything's going to drop down, because remember in algebra we work top down, so I'm setting you up for uh, later algebra classes. We know the principal, because we labeled it, is $580, Okay, uh, we know the interest rate is 2.5, okay? And so the thing is, though, right away in my word problems, we'll get into this habit too, we want to change the percent to a decimal. So um, how do we change percents to a decimal? Remember the 
percent symbol is a good reminder because it sort of looks like a division symbol. So we divide by 100, which is two swoops to the left. And so I have 0 0.025. I'm going to need to put some things in parentheses here. Okay. Uh, because we're multiplying the P times the R times the T. Uh, and we don't want to use the symbol. We want to use parentheses to show that. Okay. Uh, and then my last one is the T. And we know that's in years, which is two years. And so there we go. That's the uh, formula that we use. So it's compared to what we've been doing, it's really quite simple. Um, according to the commutative property, we can multiply those in any order, but we might as well just go left to right. Okay. Uh, and so let's grab our calculator out, and we're just going to type 580 times 0 0.025 times 2, and we get um, the I equals 29. And then you have to remember what that means. So what is I? That's interest earned or interest owed, okay? And it says in the question, how much will she earn, okay? So... She will earn, and interest is in a money amount, $29 interest, okay? And so just to double check, it's in a savings account. So that makes sense that she's earning um, a certain amount of money. And let's circle our answer, okay? So there we go. That's how we do that. You can see, not too bad, right? All right, the hardest part is making sure you get find all the pieces, Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and down here, let's write our I equals capital P, lowercase r, lowercase t. Okay, um, so I'm going to start reading and see what we recognize. So Kurt deposits 550 into a savings account. Okay, so this is my OG, my principal. Okay, so looking up at my thing, my original amount of money is the principal. That's the OG. Okay, so there's my principal. The account pays this percentage rate. Okay, so listen to the words I'm saying. I know it says simple interest, but again, don't get tricked by that. If you see percent, you think that's a percentage rate. That's my R. Okay, uh, and we don't use decim or percentages to do math work. So remember the trick for changing percents to a decimal? Divide by 100, because the percent is like a reminder about that. So two swoops to the left. Here's my new decimal point. Insert the zero. Uh, so I have 0 0.0175 rate. And then uh, it says how much interest will you earn after three years? Well, there you go. There's my T. So I expect you to label all those things. Let's go ahead and substitute everything. Okay, I don't know what the interest is. Okay, because you can see it says how much interest will I earn. So I is my unknown. Okay, equals, what's my principal? 550 times, what's the rate? There's my percentage rate as a decimal. Okay, and then what is my time? Three years. Okay, and then we can go ahead and bring everything down. So the interest earned is 550 times 0 0.0175 times three, and there we go. Okay, so this is a money amount, and it's $28 and 80, got to do the rounding, eight cents. Okay, all right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and officially write our answer. How much interest will he earn? Okay, so we'll say he will earn I did do something right there. $28 and what did I mess up there? An 88 cents. Oh, I must have erased or something. $28 and 88 cents. And there we go. Done. Okay, example two. Let's see if this is the exact same thing or if they're shifting something on us. Suppose Magdalena opens a savings account for only six months. Okay, so red flag here. Everything we do in time is in years, right? So six months does not say years, it says months. So uh, how many years is six months? Well, six months is half of 12 months. And so it would be 0 0.5 years. So right away, make that change in the problem. So Hutch tip number one with these ones. 
She puts 580 in the account. That's my OG, my original amount, which is my principal, okay? And earns that percentage each year. And we just don't do math work with percents. So do your division, swoop, swoop. And we have 0.035, okay? So let's go ahead and write everything down, okay? It says how much interest. So that means I don't know my I, okay? And so we have I equals, what is it again? Capital P R T I equals P R T. Let's go ahead and substitute. You must write the I equals P R T. No being lazy and skipping that. Okay, we're substituting for the variables. I don't know the interest. Okay, uh, earned. So get in the habit of saying interest earned or interest interest uh, lost. Okay, uh, so it'll be the interest owed or interest earned. Okay. Uh, and so we have interest equals, okay, what's my OG, my principal, 580, and then for the multiplying, let's put things in parentheses, the percentage rate, that's what we're going to say for the rate, is 0 0.035, and my time is 0 0.5 years, okay? All right, so what is my... Uh, and we can even start doing this like we've done in other lessons. Interest earned equals, and then go ahead and figure it out. 580 times 0 0.035 times 0 0.5, and we have 10.15. So $10.15 interest earned. Okay, so there we go. All right. Next one, Carrie invests four hundred thirty dollars in a savings account. Um, go ahead and if you want to pause and try this one out on your on your own, and then uh, hit play to check with me, uh, you could do that, or you're welcome to just follow along. Same process. I need to investigate my word problem. She invests that amount, so that's my OG, which I know is my principal. Um, they pay that much interest, but it's a percentage, so we call that a percentage rate. Okay. We know we don't do math work with percentages, so divide by 100. So I have 0 0.025. Uh, let's see if we, what else we know. If she does not add or subtract, withdraw any money, uh, how much interest, so I don't know my I, after 15 months. So you got to figure out what is 15 months, okay, in years, okay? Uh, so we have 15 months, okay? Um, another way to look at that is everything in a year is out of 12 months, okay? Um, so another way to figure this out, if it's not something as simple, is you can say, well, I have 15 months out of 12 months, okay? And so if you do that, look, 15 divided by 12, okay? So that's 1.25, okay? So we're sort of... Um, finding the unit rate in a way um, by doing that division, okay? So 15 divided by 12 uh, is 1.25 uh, years, okay? Uh, so we have 1.25, so 1.25 years, okay? And so I'm going to just make sure I emphasize that. So that's how you figure that out is just... Um, divide it by 12 and it'll tell you because 12 is a year it'll tell us how many years you have okay um, all right so we have all our information okay let's go ahead and fill out your um, equation so i equals what is it again good prt and then let's go ahead and substitute for the variables so we don't know the interest earned we do know the original, the OG principal, is there. I do know the percentage rate is 0 0.025, and I do know the time in years is 1.25, okay? So what is the, how much interest will she earn? Interest earned equals, let's go ahead and do the math, 430. So really, like, the hard part is finding what the parts are and making sure you're accurate in that um, and especially changing months to years you got to just be careful with that so how much interest was earned $13.40 make sure you round correctly 
44 cents because of the 7, okay? And we circle our answer, okay? Let's take a look at example 3 now and see if they change this up uh, anymore, okay? Uh, so Rondell's parents are starting a real estate business. They borrow this amount from the bank. So this is still our OG, okay? Or we also know it's called our principal to finance their startup operations. The interest rate, so my rate is four and three fourths, okay? Um, I need to change that to a decimal. But before they do that, I'm going to change it to decimal form percent, okay? So I have 4.75%. Now remember, this is not a decimal yet. It just is a decimal percentage. I need to get rid of the percent and actually officially change it to a decimal, okay? Um, so if you didn't move the decimal place, which I didn't, it's still 4.34, okay? Um, now we need to do your division and swoop, swoop, and we have 0.0475, okay, percent, okay? But now the percentage is gone, which is just 0.0475, okay? They plan to take 15 years, so there's my T for time, Okay. All right, let's go ahead and it says how much simple interest will they pay? That sort of means pay means O, okay? Uh, and so I don't know my I. So let's go ahead and fill it out. Let's use this space here. Interest equals PRT every single time, okay? And then let's move to the next step, okay? I don't know the interest owed, I do know the OG, which is 99,400, and I'm going to multiply it by the rate, which I know is 0 0.0475, and I also can multiply it by the 15 and make sure it's in years, which it is, okay? So look back to the question, how much interest will they pay, okay? Uh, interest paid equals, let's go ahead and type it out here, 99,400 times 0 0.0475, I'm being really careful here, times the 15 years equals, uh, let's double check that I did that correctly, 99,400 times 0 0.0475 times 15. Uh, it says that we're paying $70,000 in interest uh, over 15 years because we're um, doing four and three quarter percent per every single year. Uh, that seems a lot. Um, I just want to double check my work here and make sure everything's good. Okay, 15 years, we got that. Four and three fourths, swoop, swoop, 0 0.0475, and my original amount, 99,400. Okay, so let's see. 99,400, just double checking, times 0 0.0475 equals, so that's how much per year is $4,721 and 50 cents in interest, but we're doing it for 15 years already. Here's the times 15, and wow, look at that. So because you're borrowing that amount and taking 15 years to repay it at that high interest rate, um, you're actually having to pay back uh, 70,000 worth uh, in interest. How crazy is that? All right, so the interest paid, okay, is 70,000. $822.50. That's insane. Like that's how that's how loans are and stuff. Loans are crazy. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Uh, if you want to pause and try this one out on your own, uh, you can or follow along. Abby borrows $3,216 at a rate of six and four fifths percent per year. Okay. Um, one fifth is 0.2. Um, if you don't know what four fifths is, obviously you can just Four divided by five, and you can see it's 0.8. Okay, it sort of counts by twos is the trick with that. Um, how much simple interest will she owe? She takes two years. So let's go ahead and start to label things. Okay, borrows that amount. That's the OG principal, the original amount. 
um, a rate of six and four fifths, which is six point eight percent. It's still in percent form, though. I got to get it into decimal form. So swoop, swoop, and I have 0 0.068 per year. How much simple interest? So I don't know the I. Will she owe if she takes two years? There's my time, okay? And it has to be in years, and it is. So let's set up our equation, I equals PRT, okay, and start plugging in what you know. Okay, I don't know how much interest is going to be owed because we're repaying. Okay, <clears throat> so but I do know the OG is three thousand two hundred sixteen. I do know the percentage rate. I forgot to label that up there. Okay, uh, and that is zero point zero six eight, and I do know the time is two years. Okay, so let's go ahead and type this in, 3216 times 0 0.068. So per year, it's about $218. Let's see, times two now. So $437. So interest, how much will she owe? So we're going to write interest owed equals dollar symbol. $437.38 because of the rounding. Let's go ahead and circle your answer, and there we go. Okay. All right, now we're on to our applies. We know our applies are some multi-step and things like that. There's our beautiful new car, $18,000 worth. So we're buying a car that costs $18,000. Um, you do have to pay taxes on a car. This one is 7%. Um, and he also wants to make a down payment of $2,000. A down payment means that you're giving um, $2,000 cash at the beginning uh, to make the loan less. The sales tax is added to the price of the car before the down payment is made. So that's the annoying part is they're charging the tax on the original, the OG price, uh, and then you're removing the $2,000. He's thinking about a five-year loan, uh, and the interest rate is 6.2%. Okay, What will be his monthly payment? So this is sort of a tricky question is what will be his monthly payment? Uh, so we need to like consider that as we go to. All right, either way, where's my OG amount of money? Okay, It's right there. Um, my tax rate is 7%. Okay, So we're paying um, tax on that. Okay, so we need to figure out um, how much it is after taxes. So we could find the 7% of that, or remember our quick trick is to think about it like this. What is 100% of 18,000? Well, 100% of 18,000 is 18,000. We want to know, well, what is it if we add 7% tax to that? So we're wondering, remember here's our little visual. If I add 7%, well, what is the percentage that I'm looking for that will tell me the 100 plus the 7%? Well, that's 107%. Okay. Uh, so if I find 100%, 7% of 18,000, it'll tell me the um, total sort of new bill that we're dealing with with this car. Okay. Uh, we make a down payment, so we're just going to be subtracting that $2,000. Okay, so look how I'm thinking through some of this. Um, and then he's considering a five-year loan. So they have it in word form. I'm going to turn it into number form. Five years. Okay, that's my T, my time. Okay. Uh, and then my simple interest rate. Okay, here's my R, my rate. Uh, is 6.2, but we know we don't use percentages to do math work, we change it to a decimal, so it'll be 0.062. All right, so we have all the information we need. So first, before we find the um, payments, interest rate, all that kind of stuff, we have to uh, find out um, how much our car is actually going to cost us plus the tax. So let's set up our proportion like we've done in our other lessons. Okay, we know this side's always out of 100. We're finding what is 107%, okay, rather than finding the 7 and adding it on. 
Uh, we know my our whole original, our OG is our 18,000. Uh, and we don't know what the sort of final price of the car is. So let's do our cross multiplying. And we have 100F equals whatever that multiplication is, 18,000 times 107. It's going to be pretty big here. Ooh, look at that. 1,926,000. Okay. Uh, and let's isolate the variable. So divide by 100, get rid of our Christmas colors, and we're left with a, uh, let's just, we'll just call it a price of swoop, swoop, and I'm just going to write the digits, 19260, okay? Then I can put my comma. All right, let's put our dollar symbol. So this is the price of the car after the 7% tax. That really stinks. So that's really uh, what we have to pay. Now, we're making a $2,000 down payment, which remember I said that means you're giving them $2,000 to lower the cost of the car, okay? Um, so let's show that um, with a quick minus 2,000, okay? Uh, so now we have a current price of 19, 18, 17, 260 dollars. So this is really the price that we're using, okay? And that's going to be our OG or our principal, okay? That we're actually dealing with, okay? Instead of that eighteen thousand that we saw before, okay? So now let's go ahead and do our process. So we have. What's the simple interest formula? I equals PRT, and let's plug in what we know. So we don't know the interest owed. We do know the OG, which after the down payment ends up being $17,260. Okay, that's after the tax and the down payment. This is what we actually owe on the car, okay, uh, or the price of the car. All right, so let's find the percentage rate. That was 6.2% or 0 0.062 as a decimal. And then how long is this loan? Remember, it was a five-year loan. Okay, so that's the time in years. Let's go ahead and solve this out. Okay, so this is the um, interest owed, the total interest, and it's owed, equals 17,260 times 0 0.062. So this is how much um, interest is earned per year, but we're doing it for five years, okay? Um, so really, I mean, we have to know what the monthly payment is. Um, that's the amount per year. Let's go see times five years, okay? Uh, so so this is the interest owed, $5,350.60, okay? Um, now, we want to know uh, how much the monthly payment would be, okay? So you sort of have to think, well, how many months are there in five years? Because that's the amount of the loan, right? So if I have five years, how many months is that? Okay, um, so obviously there's 12 months in a year, so 12 times 5. So 5 years is actually 60 months, right? Okay, so if this is the amount that we owe total, and we're going to be paying it over 60 months, okay, we can just divide that up uh, to see how much each month would be. Okay, it's sort of like finding a unit rate, right? So cost per 60 months is how much cost per month. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that division. Okay, so we'll divide those up and do 5350.6 or 0.60, it doesn't matter. Divide it up amongst the 60 months and that'll get us our unit rate per month. Okay, and so that could look like this. 5,350 and 60 cents, okay over 60 months and remember my question would be well how much is it for one month so i just want you to see it written that way we're still dealing with unit rates that's how that works and so it would be 89 dollars and we definitely have cents 
18 cents per month. Okay. Uh, so there you go with that one. Uh, what was monthly payment be? We could just circle this right here. There's our unit rate per month. Okay. Uh, all right. Here's your last bit of notes, uh, which is um, trying out another uh, situation. Let's see how different it is. Dante is buying a car that costs eight thousand dollars. Okay, so right away we notice. Okay, that's the OG. That's also called our principal. He's deciding between a th three-year loan or a four-year loan. Okay, so these are our times that we're going to test out. Use the rates in the table to determine how much money he will save if he chooses the three-year loan versus the four-year loan, okay? So we're looking at this rate and this rate, and we have useless information, which is the five-year, okay? So let's go ahead and set up your I equals PRT and set things up. So this is my rate, okay? Uh, remember that we do not use the actual percent, okay? So instead, we have to change it to a decimal, okay, which would be two swoops to the left, dividing by 100. So that's important to remember every time. If you forget that, you're obviously going to be completely off, okay? All right, let's go ahead and substitute everything, okay? Uh, we don't know um, how much he's going to owe, so that's our I. We do know the original amount, which is $8,000, we know the percentage rate. Let's do the three-year first, okay? And that percentage rate is right here at 0 0.0225. And how long is this one? Well, in years, this is a three-year loan, okay? Um, let's set up the other one also. So we have I equals same principal. What's the percentage rate for a four-year loan now? So let's look at that. That's 0.025, okay? And how long? It's a four-year loan, okay? So now we can go ahead and check these, okay? And realize, is that interest earned or interest owed, okay? Um, and so if he's buying a car and it's a loan, he's going to have to owe that money. He's definitely not making money, okay? So this is going to be interest. Oops, that's not how you spell interest interest owed equals, and let's go ahead and calculate that, 8,000 times 0 0.0225 times 3 is $540 in interest over the entire um, term of the loan. Okay, and then let's go ahead and calculate our other interest owed. So we can write interest owed Okay, organization is really important. $8,000 times 0 0.025 equals, so 200, and times four years is $800 interest owed. So obviously, we can answer the question now, how much money will he save if he chooses a three-year? So they're already telling us the three-year was better. How much will he save if he chooses the three-year? Well, if we want to know the difference, how much we're saving, we need to do subtraction. So 800 minus 540. So you have 540, 640, 740. So that's $260. But of course, we want to double check that. Minus 540. And there you go. So answer the question. He will save $260, okay? And there you go, okay? So there's all your examples for today for the homework. Let's go ahead and take a look at the practice and homework today. Okay, it says find the simple interest earned to the nearest cent, just like we've been doing uh, for each principal interest rate in time. So let's continue the process. We have example one, two, and three. And then we have two applies that are very, very similar to what we just did in our notes, okay? So we're using our notes and these uh, ones done together to help you practice uh, the other problems. All right, so let's go ahead and crank this out. Um, I'm going to write up here so I don't forget. Interest equals PRT, okay? Uh, and interest, remember, is always a money earned, or owed. OK, 
okay? So that's something to be aware of, okay? The P, remember, is our OG, our original. The R is my percentage, and the time is in years. So a couple just notes to remember there, okay? I better make my percentage symbol a little darker. There we go. Okay, so there's a little cheat sheet reminder. So Elena's father put 460 into a savings account. If they're saving, then they're going to earn money, okay? Um, this is my OG or my principal. Um, there's my rate is 2.5%. Uh, so there's my R, okay? Should do lowercase there. Um, we need to right away change the R to a decimal. So we have 0.025, okay? Uh, and then they're not adding or withdrawing. They're just letting you know nothing's changing. How much interest, interest over four years, okay? So there's our T, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and set up your information. So we have I equals PRT. You need to write it every time. We don't know how much interest is earned. We do know the original, the OG. We do know the rate is 0 0.025. And we do know the time is four years. So now answer the question, how much interest will it earn? So we can say interest earned equals, and let's just calculate it out. So 460 times 0.025, okay, so $11.50 per year times four years comes down to $46 earned after a four-year period. Pretty good for not really doing anything. All right, Mark deposited 840 into a savings account. That's obviously our OG, our principal. They get 2% interest on an annual basis, okay? So there's my rate, which is our percentage rate. Remember, find my decimal point and turn this percent into a decimal by dividing by 100, so 0 0.02, okay? And then how much interest after six months? So we know example two was changing months to years. And we also know that six months, we want to change it to 0.5 years. Okay. You also could have done six out of 12 and it would have told you 0 0.05 as well. Okay. Um, so if you're not sure, just make it a fraction out of 12 and do the division. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and set it up. I equals PRT. Go ahead and do your substitutions. We don't know the interest earned. It's a savings account. I do know my OG principal. I do know my percentage rate as a decimal is 0 0.02. And I do know how long in years is 0.5 years. So let's write our answer. It says how much interest will he earn? So we can say interest earned equals 840 times 0 0.02 equals, so $16.80 a year times 0 0.5, it's only half a year, so earned is $8.40, okay? And so there you go, okay? All right, let's do example three now, okay? Um, so we have another month one, but it's not as simple um, to see where it wasn't just half of a year type of thing, okay? So Jack borrows this amount, okay? Uh, this is our OG or our principal. Here's our rate, which is our percentage rate. So that's my R. Remember, we don't do math work with percent, so we change them to decimals by dividing by 100, Okay. How much simple interest will he owe if it takes three months to repay the loan? So that's the time amount. Let's say I don't know what three months is as a year. Remember, we can just do three out of 12, and it'll tell us how much per year. So let's go ahead and do three divided by 12, and you can see it's point zero point two five for one year, okay? So there's our amount of time, okay, as years. All right, so let's go ahead and set it up now. You did the hard work, and now it's all just plugging it in. I equals PRT, plug things in. I don't know what the interest owed is. I do know the original, the OG, is 2,700. 
I do know that the rate as a decimal is 0 0.082, and I do know that the length in years is 0 0.25. So let's write our official answer. How much will he owe? Okay, so interest owed equals... 2700 times 0 0.082, that's per year, uh, times 0.25. So what is that? As a quarter of a year. There we go. So interest owed is $55.35. And that's what we're circling. Okay. All right. So there's your examples for those three. Um, I'm going to do one of the applies for you. And then you can go ahead and do the other apply, okay? Both these are similar to the notes, uh, so they aren't exactly the same uh, from 11 to 12, uh, but they are very, very similar, okay? So you can always use your notes as an example to look at. So here we go. I'll do number 11. Your job uh, will be uh, to do number 12, which is like the notes, uh, because it has you adding the tax, okay, and then doing that down payment, okay, so I'm going to let you practice that one uh, on your own, so you're going to have to go back to the notes for this one uh, to help yourself solve that, but it's the same process um, as the notes problem, okay, so if I pull this aside and look at the interest notes, Okay, you can see right here, okay, the first apply is just like this one where you have a tax rate that you have to take care of first, okay? So uh, number 12 matches with the apply in your notes if you need a reminder of what to do with that. Um, and then the check is just like number 11, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll do number 11 together and then you can mess with number 12 because it's a good review of your um, adding tax ones as well especially adding the tax uh, using that trick of over a hundred dollars or a hundred percent all right Jarvis is buying a boat that costs that amount that's my OG my principal so we're going to label that um, he has 500 for a down payment so that's just a subtraction of 500 dollars um, he's deciding between a two-year loan and a three-year loan Use the rates in the table to determine how much money he will save if he chooses the two-year instead of the three-year. So we're assuming the two-year is better because they're saying how much will he save, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and think through all this stuff. So we're looking, I'm going to highlight, we're only looking at the two-year and the three-year rate. I know I don't use the percent, okay? Uh, we're going to change it to a decimal, and so here's my decimals for these, okay, for my rate, because those are the rates for the two and the three year, okay? All right, so he's buying a boat that costs this much. Um, he has a $500 uh, down payment, which means instantly we just remove $500, okay? Uh, because this one doesn't say to remove it after tax. There's no tax in this one, but you do have that in the other one, okay? Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and solve this out. So basically the first thing is we can do the $6,000 minus the down payment, okay? And so our real principle is not this. It's going to be this number right here of 5,500. So this is my actual principle, okay? Because we made that down payment. All right, so let's go ahead and tackle this now. So we have I equals PRT, okay? And we also have another one, I equals PRT, because we're comparing two simple interests, okay? So let's go ahead and plug things in, okay? I don't know how much interest uh, is owed. I do know that the amount of my loan is 5500 after that uh, down payment. Okay, what's the percentage rate for the two years? Well, it's 0 0.0225. Okay, and how long? Well, we said it's two years, right? Okay, let's set up your other one. 
okay? The principal is the same amount. I'm getting a loan for 5,500. What's the rate? Well, this is for the three year now, okay? So it's 0 0.030, okay, or 3%. And then how long is this one? Well, it's a three year loan, okay? So let's go ahead and solve these now. I'm gonna get my answer ready to go. Um, so we'll call it interest owed, because it's a loan, interest, that's not how you spell that, owed equals and equals. Get our calculators out, 5,500 times 0.0225, so that's how much per year, so times two years, is $247.50 interest owed for that one. Uh, and let's calculate the other one. 5,500 times 0 0.030 times 3 is, ooh, look at that, $495 owed. Okay, so huge difference. Okay, it's a higher percentage and it's longer time. So obviously that's a bad, worse deal. Um, how much do you save if you use the two-year loan? Okay, well, let's go ahead and do our subtraction. And we have our 495 minus 247.50. Okay. Um, oh, is it really double exactly? 247.50 times two. Oh, yeah, it is. Huh, wow. Okay, so how much do you save? Okay, so he will save $247.50. Interesting. It made me think I was messing up something. Uh, all right, so go ahead and now the rest are for you to work out. You have four problems. Imitate the ones you've seen. Uh, remember that uh, your number 12 is going to be the notes from the apply problem. Okay, for you to imitate off of. Uh, let's go ahead and look at it though. It says Evelyn is buying a motorcycle that costs fourteen thousand. There's your principal, right? The tax rate is that, so you got the rate, and she plans to make a down payment, which we know is just a subtraction, okay, from the principal. The sales tax is added before the down payment. So just like the apply problem, uh, in your notes, you have to find uh, how much the new amount is plus the tax, okay? Um, and then after that, then you can uh, take off the $1,500 and calculate the three-year loan, okay? Uh, but just realize this question says, what will her monthly payment be just like the apply problem in the note? So, Really look at that and imitate that. Think through that. Um, we're only looking at the three-year loan, which is right here. Okay? Um, so here's your rate that you're using. Okay? So take your time on that. I know you can do it. Uh, if you need help with something, though, I'm always here to help you.